Hi, it's John Steffi for ProduceGeek.com. Today we're talking pumpkins. So, um, pumpkins, what's the scoop? Can you make pies with these? Are they just for decoration? All right, well, here's what I'd like to tell you. Number one, the big orange kind of tall pumpkins that are often called face pumpkins or jack-o'-lantern pumpkins, they're just for decorating. That's really what these are for. This fella's name is uh, Spookily, at least that's what my kids named him. Um, this type of face pumpkin or jack-o'-lantern pumpkin has a pretty stringy flesh and is kind of watery, doesn't have a great flavor, but they're beautiful for decorating with and carving with, so that's what you use these pumpkins for. This is called a sugar pie pumpkin or a baby Pam. Um, the, terms are fairly interchangeable. It's a rather small pumpkin. They can be this size to maybe about that big. And you would definitely want to buy it by the name Baby Pam or Sugar Pie and or Mystic. And this is for eating. Okay? So you want to select one that feels heavy for its size, cut it in half, scoop out the seeds and pulp, and um, just take those two halves and bake them at 350 degrees for 45 to 90 minutes until you can poke it easily with a fork. Um, and then you would scoop it out of the shell, puree it, and you could use that for pumpkin pie. It makes the, uh, the flavor really nice and it's kind of a fluffier, uh, you know, more full flavored texture. So, um, those are good for baking. What about some of these ornamentals? This is a Valencia, I think is what it is. Um, Awesome for decorating, cool white pumpkin, but these are heavy and dense. Not a lot of seed cavity. Inside is actually orange flesh that's excellent for baking. Same way, same preparation. Uh, the other way for preparing for pie is to steam it for 20 to 30 minutes until you can poke it with a fork and again, scoop it then out of the shell. All right? All right, now I'm gonna weird you out with an heirloom variety. This is called the peanut pumpkin, or that's what it's uh, lovingly referred to these days. This is how this variety grows. It grows this nice peach colored skin that has what look like peanut shells on there. But if you look close, I scraped a few off there so you can see that is, you know, that's green under there. That's actually just part of how these things grow. It kind of gives me the heebie jeebies. I get weirded out by just even touching it. I don't know why. So it's kind of spooky for decorating but these things are excellent for baking with. Um, and compared to a little baby Pam, you're gonna get a lot of um, great pie filling out of this thing. All right, so lastly, one of the best for making pies is not actually a pumpkin at all. This is a hard squash variety called Golden Hubbard, and they make excellent, excellent uh, pies. Fantastic texture. So, lastly, a little Jack B. Littles, just for decorating. Gourds, just for decorating. These guys, this is what you make pies with. Have some fun, um, and for what's best right now, go to ProduceGeek.com. Here's to fresh.